The coronavirus is a pandemic that has robbed people of their lives, but also their livelihoods. As the economy slowly reopened, state leaders took part in a virtual conversation with realtors. New at 5, 10 on your side's Asia Tolliver has what came out of that discussion. The virtual conversation was hosted by the Institute of Real Estate Management. They do this every year, but because of the pandemic, it was virtual. They talked about where we are and how things may look moving forward. The discussion between experts in multiple fields was an in-depth look at COVID-19's impact on our economy. U.S. Senator Mark Warner joined economists and others like Brian Ball, the Virginia Secretary of Commerce and Trade. I'm confident we're going to get through this. I don't know when the vaccination is going to show up, but if we act and behave in a smart way until then, uh, we, we'll be okay. We'll get through this. During the conversation, Senator Warner touched on his work to advance economic recovery efforts for communities hardest hit by the COVID-19 crisis. Warner says he's working on a multi-billion dollar initiative to help minority-owned businesses who have been disproportionately affected during the pandemic. He says out of the 2.7 million Black-owned businesses in America, 440,000 have already shut their doors. And traditional lenders have not been the answer. That would take that $18 billion, wouldn't take new money, would take it out of the Main Street facility, put about $3 billion into direct support for Black-owned banks and community development financial institutions, CDFIs, of which there are 1,100 around the country. We've got 16 in Virginia, we could use a few more, that have a history of lending into low-income communities. Chief economist for the Virginia Association of Realtors, Lisa Sturdervant, says she believes we're going to see some increases in rental vacancy rates and declines in retail renting. She also mentioned a rethinking of office space, not downsizing, but repositioning during this climate. I think we're going to use this next year to really think about how to be innovative, both in use of technology and use of space, so that when we come out on the other side, we might be doing different uh, business a little bit different, but we might be doing it stronger. The roundtable lasted an hour and a half, so a lot of discussion going on there, and you can find more details on this over on wavy.com. I'm Aisha Tolliver, tonight on your side.